if you if if we had a young Jeffrey in 2021 in this crazy digital world and he was starting all over again in his acting career, what would he do differently? And and maybe you wouldn't maybe you do nothing differently. But what would you do differently today as a young actor starting out? And that could be what you see that young actors are not doing. On a basis, save your money. That would be the practical basis. Be live frugally, don't live above your your, your ability. Um, I made a great decision in that, and, and I say a life-changing decision that I wouldn't have changed, and that I got uh, I got married really young. I got married at 22 years of age. Uh, the fact of the matter is Peggy Fury was the only person who, I, I got married on the same day that Sean Penn and Madonna got married. And she she was the only guest that was at both weddings. I think Eric Stoltz, maybe he was at both too. So the two of them were the only ones that are both weddings. So the marriage thing was a good thing. Um, I would definitely do that. Um, I would say don't rush. Don't rush for the results. Live in the moment live in the moment and and do more things that um listen more to your passion and your soul and your heart uh, listen to your inner artist more than to all the people that are your team that represent you and make sure that the people who represent you are actually representative of who you are. Mm -hmm. um, because, and I've, I, I've, I've been blessed to find my way back to, to a few people who represented me that represented me. Like now my manager used to be my agent a long time ago, but he's also the son of a, of a great theater act, theater director and the son of a, of a, of a acting mother. Her mother was an acting teacher. So she, he clearly gets it, you know, and then I've had, you know, I've had a plethora of the, you know, really nice suits, really slick boys that just tell you to do it. You end up going like, oh, why did I do that? Oh, right. Because they said I had to do that because it was this or was that or was this or was that. I remember just even three years ago or five years ago, whatever it was, um, even <laughs> I was doing a mini series called Texas Rising. And it was 10 hours mini series. And we shot over 10 months down in the worst part of Mexico. I mean, we literally were in El Chapo's hometown, Durango, Mexico, the most dangerous part of Mexico. And I just remember turning my dear buddy, Bill Paxton, and said, how the fuck did you convince me to do this? <laughs> it's like, you are a charm charming dude, man. Jeff, it's Bill. You know, you got it. You're coming down here, buddy. You're going to be my sidekick for 10 months. And I was like, yeah, the executive producer is an asshole, but we'll just keep you away from him, um, which he didn't. But uh, he did not protect me from him. But um, so I would say that I would say be listen to yourself and listen to your art a little bit more than listen to your uh, your commerce. Does that make sense? Good advice. Yeah. Great advice. Uh, do it for the work. As I say, you know, fall in love with the craft of acting, the craft, and there's a difference. Fall in love with the craft of acting. Fall in love with the discipline of the craft of acting. Make that what your journey is about, and you will be very successful, and you will be very happy. When you start worrying about the other stuff, and if you're gonna go now to young actors in particular, if you're gonna go on Clubhouse, be very careful of who you're listening to. And if they say something, they just look them up. Like there's more mm -hmm. people in that damn place. They're saying, I'm a casting director. And they start yelling at you guys about shit. It's like, you've never cast anything in your fucking life. Yeah. What, have, what have you cast? You know, no, J you know, Jane Jenkins is a casting director. You know, Paul Sharon Bialy is a casting director. Lisa London, who is on there, she is a casting director. But some yeah. of these other people, it's like, what? Right. Just concentrate on your craft and, you know, you don't need to have 12 headshots that make you look like an archetype and all this stuff. It's like, just have two, one, yeah, yeah, two yeah. headshots. That's all you need. You know, okay. one that looks like you, that's maybe a little bit more dramatic and pensive. One that looks a little more vulnerable and, and 
present. That's all you need. Yeah, there's a lot of fake information out there. Not that, that people, information. There's also a lot of people who are trolling for your money. Oh, really? Yes, you have to have this. You have to have this casting network access. You have to pay this subscription here and this. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. So. How can people work with you, Jeffrey? I, uh, I have a curator of a website. Uh, I'm terrible at that stuff. We'll it's put the called... links down below in the notes. Yeah. On the yeah. website. Uh, I can do that. Yes. Here, I can tag you, right? Is that what that? I've never been in the. Uh, I will. Um, yeah, I have it. So in the notes on YouTube, we'll put it in and Spotify. You go to working, W O R K I N G, actors, A C T O R S, and then another S. Working Actors Studio, so two S's, dot org. Um, that's, uh, that's the web link to the website for the studio that is administered by somebody. Um, and I, I'm one of those old school dudes. I, I have no problem people having my email either. It's Blake's, B L A K E S H Q at gmail.com, Blake's HQ at gmail.com. Um, and that's how you find me. And, um, you know, like, like your studio, I, I, I tend to have a little bit of a waiting list, but I, I, I will always meet with people beforehand to see if it, they really, this is what they want to do. Um, okay. And because I, I do that because I literally charge, you know, as my, as my friend, Annie Milder, who teaches with me sometimes from Apollo 13, I charge per class less than it costs to go to breakfast. So I have seen your price and because it's so cheap, it almost seems like it's a catch, but it's not. It's actually that cheap. I've never raised it. It actually yeah. is. Yeah. I just, yeah. because I want people, you know, I don't want people stressing out about money or, going, oh, I have to work this week because it costs me X amount of money to be here. Um, that will change if I, it's interesting. People want me to, they want me to open a theater and do all that and, and, and teach at a, at a brick and mortar. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's an interest in Los Angeles. I know I can fill a fill a brick and mortar theater in New York to teach there. I'm not sure in LA I can. I, I don't think like no hardly anybody in my Zoom classes are from LA. Like I told you, I just got somebody from from Sydney. Yeah. Um, and so I, I have people in Sydney. I have people in you know in in Argentina. I have people from Italy. I have people people from all of tons from New York and some from the southeast and um and they're very interesting um so you know i did like i said i don't do it for the money because i don't need the money um and it's dot org because even that small amount of money that i make i donate half of it to the to the actors fund uh for actors who do need it mm -hmm. um, so there you go jeffy thank you very much for doing this Oh, pleasure man it's not, i can't wait to see your work that's what i can't wait to see and uh you know maybe i'll come uh come do Willy for you. Yeah, if you're doing Willy, let me know. I'm heading back to Ireland in a couple of months to do a movie. So I stuck it out and finally some stuff has come my way. So cool. Cool. You got you're a good looking kid. So how old are you? Me, I'm thirty four. You look like a baby. You look like and I just 20. had a little baby girl. You, oh, congratulations, so, man. That's a, it's a great adventure. Trying to um, balance I, everything. No, it it'll make you so much better of an actor. Kids it does make you, in rehearsal. Yeah, especially they, they with Eric. You, Eric makes you talk it all out in your life. They make you so. They make you so human, and they just they get rid of your bullshit meter. And yes. and it's just whenever you're having any self indulgent moments, you just focus right back on her, and all that goes away. So totally. that's my number one theme. My number one theme, literally, that you did, I, I just got to it. My number one theme to all actors and how to have a career: don't be an asshole. Literally, that's the way you need to start. Don't be an asshole, because I've worked with too many of them, and it, it's exhausting. That's it doesn't have a to few be. times. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that way. It just <laughs> doesn't. So, love it. Be honored. It's an honorable profession. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day, Jeffrey. You too, man. I gotta go. Actually, I'm gonna go pick up my son. So there we go. Thank you. We'll talk soon. All right, man. Cheers, as you guys. See you, say. buddy. All right, bye. <laughs>